welcome back. Uh, you join me here in Bristol. I'm at the 2025 launch of the new Bailey Caravan models. Uh, I'm currently sat in the brand new Bailey Unicorn Deluxe Cadiz, which is the twin fixed single bed model. Today Bailey have launched this, the new Alicanto Grand Deluxe, which we'll look at later, and also the new Adamo motorhome. It's not the uplifted model, the, uh, you know, internally changed. We're we'll looking around some of the models they got here today. They've got the Cadiz and the Vigo from the Unicorn, the Porto from the Alicanto, and then they've got the 794T um, for the Adamo. So we'll be looking around those models. They'll all be available at the NEC show in October, so you're welcome to have a look at them there. We'll be there on the Wednesday. Should you see us, come and please say hello. These are pre-production models, so there may be a few slight differences, uh, but no, come and have a look with me. This is more of a, uh, not a review, it's more just a showcase, show you the models, first time round, a first look, and yeah, we'll just take a look around them, and uh, yeah, we'll introduce Mr. Voiceover to uh, yeah, give you the uh, full lowdown. But yeah, no, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. The 2025 Bailey Alicanto Grand Deluxe is a remarked improvement over the previous Series 2 model, the second generation of Alicanto. It's nice to see Bailey have brought back the Sintra model, personally my favourite from the original Alicanto range. They've also introduced a new Alvor model and kept the Porto and the Avora from the Series 2. Internally it's had a really nice makeover, these uh, new uh, kitchen sideboards are really nice. Uh, we've got the new natural oak wood uh, which looks very good indeed. A new 130 watt solar panel and the all important Sonos sound speaker. Now the Porto shown here is the rear island bed model and with all the Alicantos it has a king size bed and for me that is absolutely brilliant in a caravan. Uh, being the Porto we've got a central midships washroom with the rear island bed. Um, tell you what I'm very pleased with this one it felt like a block of flats on its side absolutely colossal caravan no 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 I have to say very impressed with this one So the new Unicorn Deluxe, uh, this was for me the model to see uh, the Unicorn Deluxe. Um, I've always been a massive Unicorn fan, obviously my parents owning them in the past and uh, yeah no I have to say uh, this was my most anticipated one to see. Uh, Bailey brought three models of them today, uh, it was the Cadiz which we're in now which is, uh, features two fixed single beds uh, and then everyone knows you see Unicorn Cadiz is absolutely everywhere, uh, they really are a popular caravan for couples and families. They've also got the Vigo and the Cabrera which we'll talk about later. I have to say uh, the new interior uh, really nice compared to the Series 5. I was a big fan of that anyway but the Deluxe really smartens everything up. Got the new gloss uh, kitchen countertops, uh, the new dimmable lighting system um, and um, generally just a really nice internal makeover. Uh, there's your two fixed single beds and obviously we've got a rear washroom at the back of the caravan. Next up is my personal favourite model, it's the Vigo. Uh, having spent a long time in a Vigo in my parents' Series 4, I know the van really well. Uh, up the front we've got the standard lounge. Um, I like that Bailey have actually got rid of the ends. For someone that's quite tall it's quite nice to be able to kick your feet off the end, so I quite like that. Nice big bolster there as well for people sat on that side. Uh, you have got a kitchen worktop extension uh, and the inbuilt chopping board. As with always with Bailey and the Unicorn range, we get a tower fridge freezer. So you always get the big fridge with Bailey. Uh, you've got the new tap, uh, quite similar to what I've uh, got at home, uh, where you can wash your pans out and obviously Russell Hobbs microwave. With the Vigo, it's a transverse island bed and a rear washroom. I did pull the bed out for people that want to know and there is plenty of space to walk around. You've got a new style mirror, nice window at the end of the bed and a place for your TV and then a washroom down the back of the caravan with probably the most amount of storage space I've ever seen in a washroom of a caravan. Plenty of space for all your bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. 
Next up is the Cabrera, and uh, while well, this has been a popular seller recently, um, the rear island bed layout really is popular at the minute. I personally own a caravan with this layout at the minute as well. Obviously, same as before, we've got the two parallel seats up the front, but this time round, we've got a midships central washroom and a rear island bed. And the perks of this layout in the Unicorn range and the Alicanto for that fact, is you get the through locker. I'm just demonstrating here the new blinds. Uh, obviously, it's quite a hot topic on the Unicorn 5, uh, not having fly screens. Bailey have rectified that, it's good to see. And we now have blinds and fly screens to all three front windows and also all other windows in the caravan as well. So there you go. You want to see some product improvement? That's there for you. Kitchen down the middle, pretty much the same as the Vigo. Uh, then you've got your shower cubicle to the right hand side there. And Bailey now have also given you a place for your toiletries, which is very handy. And then we've also got the bathroom to the left. But yeah, here's the rear ride and bed in the Cabrera. Plenty of space back here. And now for something that we don't talk about too much on this channel, uh, albeit probably should do some more of it. The new Bailey Adamo motorhome. Again, this is more like a midlife uh, facelift, um, but I have to say from being in the previous Adamo a couple of times, this does feel a bit more upmarket. We've got the new interior, uh, new 12 inch, albeit not shown on this model, driving display with a new 160 horsepower engine, plenty of new lighting, um, as well, a uh, new designed leak kitchen for better space uh, use. Shame we don't see a microwave in the Adamo range, that would be my only criticism. Um, but this is the uh, 7540 with the two fixed single beds at the back, uh, washroom in the middle, and then that, this means you get a large garage, uh, plenty of space to put your bikes and those sort of bits and pieces. Also nice to see that in the Adamo this time round it's actually able to tow, uh, which is pretty good as well, whereas the previous Adamo that wasn't possible. Spinning around now to look at the washroom, you've got your uh, shower and then separate bathroom. 